The tiny town that was once the center of Indiana's limestone industry is offering the business deal of a lifetime. Mitch Legan reports from Steinsville, where a group of historic buildings is going for the same price as a cup of coffee at the general store. If you have a dollar and a good idea, these four buildings in Steinsville could be yours. The town's hoping a business person might be able to inject some life into what was once the limestone capital of Indiana. Kelsey McLaughlin was born and raised in Steinsville and says it really hasn't changed much since she was a kid. They've been here since my entire life and they've pretty much looked this way or gotten worse my entire, my entire life. Off Main Street stand four buildings that have been empty for at least three decades. Over a century ago, they were home to dry goods shops, hardware stores, and other businesses that served a bustling quarry town. I just have seen pictures, and just to see pictures of what it was like when these buildings were in use, to see people gathered down here, I would love to see that again. Steinsville has the honor of being the birthplace of Indiana's limestone industry. The Monon Railroad expanded to the area in the 1850s, and by 1860, there were four limestone quarries. Steinsville became a boom town. The population eventually shot to 1,000 residents or more. Local limestone has been used in monuments across the country, including the Soldiers and Sailors Monument in Indianapolis. The four buildings for sale in Steinsville were built just before construction started in the state capitol. They are examples of the limestone industry work that was so prominent in the community at the time. You had a skilled labor force that could do the, the cutting and the carving and that you can see all of that on the facades of the buildings. Delassi had been keeping an eye on the Steinsville buildings since the 1990s. After watching them deteriorate for decades, he brought a new idea to McLaughlin and the town council. Sell the buildings to the right person for one dollar. Hopefully they would bring them back to their normal state and we would have businesses here in town again. The town has partnered with Indiana Landmarks on the offer. They're looking for someone who will buy the buildings and has enough money to stabilize and refurbish them. There's a reason they're going for a buck. The buildings have some serious um, needs in terms of uh, structural repairs. One of the buildings is missing part of one of its uh, rear walls. The town does not have the money to rehab these buildings, the money to put into the, the buildings. We just have the money to keep the town running. The town owns them right now, so we're not getting tax dollars from ourselves. Locals have floated barber shops, craft stores, or co-work spaces. At this point, McLaughlin would take just about anything other than apartments. The building's historic designation limits what can be done with the structures, but also opens the door for tax credits and other funding. Delassie says there's been a lot of interest in the buildings, but no official bids so far. They're taking proposals through November 15th. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Mitch Legan.